Hey, it's Broken Kitty. I'm back. Um, this is part two in my response to Jesus Freak 777's 12 questions for atheists video. I'm going to be answering questions 10 through 12 um, because I ran out of time in the last video. But um, question 10 is why do so many of your interests, art and entertainment, center around human suffering and tragedy? Does this reflect on inner turmoil because of the absence of God? I personally don't see much of my interests around surrounding um, centering around suffering and tragedy. Maybe I play a few morbid video games like Silent Hill. I guess some people find that human suffering and tragedy. Um, but um, I still play Mario Kart on my N64 and Super Smash Brothers on my old systems. Um, I'm actually rather big gamer and into cosplay and everything rather than um, the whole, um, oh my god, my life sucks. I'm gonna listen to heavy metal. The dark kind, dark like my soul talking about like how horrible life is and the suffering and tragedy okay and that has nothing to do with religion but rather music taste but y you get the idea it's it's pretty much a fucking generalization on your part which is pretty ignorant um so yeah like I said it's actually a matter of just taste, not as some kind of absence of God or whatever. I think you're digging way too deep into it. Um, let's see. Question 11. If Jesus were physically alive today and preaching the same message as he did before, would you accept his teaching as being valid and viable to our community and your own personal life? Personally, I would think he was some kind of magic performing religious leader for a religion that doesn't appeal to me Because um, from my understanding Jesus taught love and understanding of thy neighbor and stuff um, like turning the other cheek and personally my personal morals and my religion um, Pretty much shun that kind of stuff. It's you know Love those who deserve it. Don't waste your love on ingrates. Don't love thy neighbor. Love those you care for that love you back. It's don't turn the other cheek. If one, if a man smite you on one side, smite them back on the other and stuff like that. You know, like, it's pretty much like an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Don't just let them walk all over you and forgive and forget because... That's just stupid. Why would I love thy enemy? I personally have a specific person that I hate very much. Though I will not mention names. I have a person I hate very much. Because of some things that have occurred between me and that person. That were very hurtful and very betraying. And, um... Personally, I would never forgive that person. To this day, I have never forgiven them. And they realize this and they no longer expect forgiveness. I mean, and now, honestly, that person is with someone else and uh, they're doing the same thing to them, but that person happens to uh, be turning the other cheek and dealing with it. And so, you know, that person who's, you know, now their friend can enjoy that kind of friendship if they want. <laughs> That's not really friendship. But um, now I'm just rambling on to that crap. But um, I just don't think that his teachings would apply to my personal life. And I don't think that they would ever apply to a community as a whole. Because that's one of the reasons we have so many um, different religions and everything is because of the difference in morals and beliefs of what's right and wrong and um so it would never appeal to a whole a community as a whole um 
Last question. Considering all the opinions you express about the dangers of religion and the world's problems, why don't you offer any solution to the problems on a specific level? Again, you're very generalizing, just like you were with question 10. You generalize atheists way too much. Atheism is merely the lack of belief in a deity. It is not a specific religion or set of beliefs. Um, you generalize atheists way too much, and I'm sure you're just talking about, you know, the majority of atheists that a lot of people imagine when they think atheists, you know. Oh my god, God sucks, anarchy forever, rebel against the government, and, you know, that kind of atheist, and that's really not the only kind, but that's, you know, just my opinion that you need to stop generalizing atheists, because that's really fucked up. But, um, I do not express dangers of religion. I myself am in a religion. I find nothing wrong with religion itself. I merely find that the extremists that give said religions a bad name are horrible. I don't like them. Be it the joy of Satan that cases that uh, give my religion of Satanism a bad name. Um, even though they're theistic, I'm an atheistic Satanist, so, you know, it's still Satanism in general, and I don't even consider JOS Satanists. They just give us a bad name. Um, just as I don't expect um, my one friend to call terrorists Muslims. She's a Muslim, and I would not expect her to call the terrorists and everything. And, you know, the suicide bombers and stuff, I would not expect her to call them her Muslim brothers and sisters and stuff. I believe she views them as extremists and bad for her faith. Um, or, um, the pro protesters and throat pushers that give Christianity a bad name because, um, I have a friend that's a Christian as well. So, you see, I don't express dangers of religion because I have many friends with many different religions. We respect each other's beliefs and we learn about each other's beliefs. And that is one of the reasons I know a lot about the religions I know about, is through my friends. And, um, I'm sure that my friend wouldn't call the, um, that crazy Baptist lady Phelps, I'm sure he would not call her a Christian. I do not believe he considers her a real Christian. I believe he considers her one of the ones that give his religion a bad name. And, um... All religions have those kinds of people, and that is not what makes a religion dangerous. It is the extremists in the religion that make a, that make themselves and the religion look dangerous. Um, but that's about it. Um, I'm kind of rambling. I still, I'm like still kind of like not thinking straight because I just got off a plane last night but um I just figured that um I'd post this video response while I had the chance before I got busy again and um I hope to get some kind of responses comments anything you know because I really do like discussing this topic when it is brought up to me you know when I'm given the chance to um, I'm just not usually one to start these kinds. Um, but yeah, that's all I really wanted to say, and all I have to say is, Jesus Freak, I wish that you would maybe open your mind a little more and see that not all atheists are alike, and that you would maybe generalize a little less next time. I'm not saying that you are going to, I'm not asking you to change your views, I'm just saying that, um, bringing it to your attention that you do generalize a lot, and that's really not very accurate of you. Alright, and uh, that's all for this video, so Broken Kitty, signing out.